security on the web today, we look at there's really three main attacks we worry about. There's attacks on the computer through you know, vulnerable add-ins or, or other vulnerabilities. There's attacks on websites with uh, cross-site scripting, clipjacking, uh, and then there's also attacks on the user. Uh, Smart Screen Filter uh, focuses on these attacks on the user. Up through Internet Explorer 8, we've been focused on finding and blocking malicious websites, um, whether phishing or, or malware. Going into planning for Internet Explorer 9, we decided we wanted to turn that on its head. No protection scheme is 100% effective. Someone will always be on the front wave of an attack. Attackers can create any sort of download they want, um, throw it out there, users will download it. It'll eventually be caught and blocked. But until then, someone's going to be affected. So we started looking at, well, what can we do to help users make better decisions? Um, right now, they're warned unnecessarily for, for every download. Every download asks, are you sure you want to run this program? Uh, files downloaded from the internet may be harmful. This type of file may be harmful to your computer. Uh, right now, we know users probably ignore that because whether you're downloading the most popular thing on the internet or it's a piece of uh, malware just written you know, 10 minutes ago, you're going to be asked the same thing. So in Internet Explorer 9, we actually have a new download manager, um, and Smart Screen Filter is integrated into there. When you click on a link, a download is going to be started. You're going to be asked if you want to save or run it. At that point, the existing malware protection is going to run. We're going to check the URL. We're going to tell if it's known to our service as malicious or not, and then the download is going to begin. It has positive reputation, which we expect most downloads on the internet to have. You're going to see no warnings, and you can run the file from the download manager with no warnings at all. If it's not commonly downloaded, if it doesn't have positive reputation, we know that for the average user, it's much more likely to be malicious. The newest piece of malware written five minutes ago will show this warning. Users will get this warning. They will know whether or not this is a well-known program or not, and they can make a better decision because of it. There's a whole aspect of this business around trust decisions. What kind of information can we give the user to help them make a better decision? If it's not a useful piece of information, then it's not, not helpful to them. So in Internet Explorer 9, you know, the thing to think about is that smart screens there in the background. It's a feature you don't need to worry about. As you browse and download files, we're going to warn you if something's malicious, um, a phishing site, a malware distribution site, a malware download. And now with download reputation, we're also going to warn you if something's very uncommon and much more likely to be malicious. 